Good morning, Desterers. Pull up a lounger and relax as I take you on a journey through the 74th version of your location and recommendations. As you can see, we are in the tower again. Thank God, I hate going to the reef. It feels so dirty. Um, it's been a okay weekend, Destiny, I guess. Iron Banner's coming back next week, which is one of our clan's most favorite things to do. And uh, they did announce that they are going to fix some of the things that they broke with the last patch. Which, for all of you naysayers out there, I told you so. They've never really left anything that the community has complained about and not done anything about it. Eventually, they fix things. Thank you, Destiny, for not making me look like an idiot. Well, I mean, I do, but that's just a natural state of being for me. Anyway. Let's see what Mr. Jure has this morning. Good morning, Jure. Alright. Looks like we have some fun stuff this week. Uh, for the Legacy Engram, we have the helmets. Who cares? I don't understand why we still have these. Anyway, uh, for the Titan, we have the Twilight Garrison. One day, the last city will be known as the first city. Of course it will, as time passes. Uh, press circle circle while airborne to evade. That is, of course, if you're on PS4. Well, thank you, Rocket League, for updating. Um, they're fun. Uh, the Twilight Garrisons are fun. Uh, watch people juke around in the air while uh, floating about. All of a sudden, they go left when you've got a sniper trained on them in the air. It's fun to uh, fun to watch. Anyway, um, they also have a 94% roll on it, so not bad, but not great. Alright, for the Hunter, we have the Celestial Nighthawk. Starlight is your guide. No vacuum will contain you. Uh, your Golden Gun fires one shot, but it has six times the damage and grants keyhole for overpenetration. On a solar burn, nightfall, or anything like that, it is a lot of fun to use this and do massive amounts of damage to uh, to a boss. Um, it yeah, and it looks pretty cool too. Unfortunately, the roll on this one is only seventy nine percent. So, mm. thank you, glass needles. And for the warlock, we have the claws of Ahamkara. Look at all this life, O oh bear of mine. There is so much left to burn. Uh, you gain an additional melee charge, uh, plus you get melee attack speed, plus they look awesome. Um, they are one of my favorite exotics in the game. And I know it sounds silly because all they give you is an extra melee charge, but uh, yeah, I just love them. Um, they look cool. And since the uh, since they take on the um, shader color, they match your outfits now, which is really cool too. And they have a 94%. Um, so again, you'll need to glass needle them, but that's okay. And then uh, we have the Hawk Moon. Uh, Stock they prey and let loose thy talons upon the darkness. Um, Hawk Moon has the uh, what do they call it? The Holding Aces perk where two more bullets in your magazine deal considerable bonus damage. Um, it's already got luck in the chamber, so you get three bullets in each 11 round, 11 round magazine that will uh, do extra damage. Um, I already have the Hawkmoon. I love it. Um, it's not quite back to where it was in year one, but uh, it's a, a lot of fun to use, and it sounds so cool when you fire it. And then of course you have your glass needles, your three of coins, your two sets of heavy ammo synth, your green goo for your sparrow, your baby blue goo for your sparrow, your exotic shards, and your motes of light. And there you have it folks. Not too bad this week. I hope you enjoyed your location and recommendations. And have a great Destiny weekend. Don't forget to stop by RadioPressGaming.com for all your gaming news, needs, and wants. And I hope to catch you next week on the battlefield during Iron Banner. Take care, everyone.